Now that we have all of our elements deep etched, we're going to go ahead and arrange them into a tile, which we will use to create our pattern. The repeat, also known as a tile, the repeat is what I'm calling the arranged elements, which we're going to copy and paste over to create our pattern. The next part of the process is repeating out our tile so that it repeats seamlessly on each side. So the way that we do that is by repeating our tile manually and then adding in extra elements which need to be used to fill up any extra space. The thing about a repeat is that whatever you change along the bottom of it, that is going to be happening on the top of it. This will make more sense once we dive in, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to select all of my elements and then I'm gonna put them into a group. Now that we have them in a group, let's just transform them, let's move them up. And then this is the part where we start repeating it out. Let's duplicate the group, transform it. Let's, for example, try and move this down, say 20 centimeters. It's probably not quite enough. Let's do 25, maybe 26. Yeah, okay, so 26 centimeters down looks like a good amount to repeat it down. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to write down the size that I'm repeating it down. So I draw a little square and then I just do a little arrow and then I write 26 centimeters so that we know when we go back, then that's how far we've gone down. Okay, so because we're only affecting one of these groups, I would put the bottom group on an opacity and then I'm gonna lock it so that we can't make any changes to that group. So let's go in and let's start just rearranging these elements slightly. So I'm basically going in and I'm readjusting the elements to make the space in between the two repeating groups seamless. The aim of this process is to create the nicest flowing repeat that we can. So once we're happy with that, we're going to unlock the group that we have on opacity and then we're just gonna delete it. So you're always going back and using the group that you've made the most recent changes on. So let's go back into here. Um, let's duplicate the group, transform. We know that we moved it down 26 centimeters. So let's just go in there and type in 26. You can see that it's looking Pretty good. Um, I'm gonna just make a couple of little changes. Let's lock that layer that we have, the group that's on opacity. And then um, I wanna just go in here and make a couple of little changes. Okay, so let's see. Duplicate the group, transform, going across to your Y axis and repeating it down 26 centimeters. And as you can see, it's looking Pretty nice, it's looking quite seamless and I'm pretty happy with how that seam is repeating. Now that we have our finished pattern, we can now export it for whatever application we would like. So if we wanna set this up for a print application, for example, what we can do is fake it out for a card. So we know that most greeting cards are about five by seven inches. We'll just open a new document and set up as five points by seven. So now we have our card front and then what we can do is just again, just drop your pattern in there. Looks pretty big. So let's scale it down to 25%, maybe 30, 40, let's say. Okay, so looking, this looks pretty good at 45% scale for our card. We need to flatten it. So let's just flatten that file. So now that it's flattened, um, let's save it and then if we wanted to, we could take that to a printer and they could print it for us. Here are some examples that we had printed up before. Um, this is a card, this is about 80% scale. And this is another card, which is, I think this is the five by seven and this is a 4.6 inches. And this has the print in it at 60% scale. We also have them printed as double cards, so. Feel free to experiment and just see what cool things you can come up with because yeah, it's pretty exciting. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.